What is up, good people of the world? Welcome back. Picking up exactly where we left off earlier. So we were just uh, seeing whether or not this tremolo worked in context, and I think it's pretty good, although I'm going to do what I always do and listen in context. And this is a point that I made in my uh, writer's block video, but I think it's very important to... Uh, it seems like a waste of time to go all the way back to the beginning and listen to it in context, but it's so important because... Um, you know, you can never consider a small section in isolation and know whether or not it's going to work in the larger scale uh, piece um, unless you listen to it in its context. Before we get there, though, I actually think I want to bring this in. I want to bring this in. D. First, I'm going to try just this line, and then I'm going to also try this line down here. I might bring in like two, and then the you know sort of stagger entrance. Uh, so let's try that first. I like that, and I think I, I think I'm gonna like this best of all. Yeah. So I think I want to double something on top of the horns because even though the horns are richer and separate and timbre, um, the fact that they're so mellow, I think my ear tends, maybe it's because I just wrote the, uh, my ear is desensitized to the melody because it's the thing that's been there the longest, whereas the tremolo is um, something new. So you want to be careful with those types of things. But at least currently, uh, this takes my ear, I think my ear pays more attention to this than this. And because this is new material, even though it's derived from the A section, I think... Uh, I might uh, I might do something here. This seems a little weird, but huh, let's try it just for fun. I actually quite like that. I think uh, as long as we make sure to slur everything, um, I think it's fine for them to have differing articulations for the horns to be a bit more pointed and for the uh, piccolo to have a bit more of a um, uh, legato. Yeah, I think we'll do that. This might be, that might be a little overdoing it, but let's try this. And I'll try my sub piano. I don't know whether or not I like dropping them out there. That's a tricky one. Quite a tricky one. Let's try suspended cymbals. Assuming it'll play back properly. Which oftentimes it doesn't.
take that out. No, 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 no. Maybe, maybe if I did. Yeah, but see, if I do this, then it's not going to let ring. Maybe I write LV. I don't know if it'll read that. I'm actually curious about that. There's got to be, there's got to be a uh, note performer Sibelius suspended symbol. I gotta be just doing something stupid. Mm, you have to map it yourself since Sibelius doesn't have a sound ID for suspended symbol for some strange reason. That's fascinating. So the problem is with Sibelius. Okay, well, excuse the technical diversion. I might just edit this out. But uh, let me just try this real quick. Put symbol here. Yeah. Wow, that's very helpful. <laughs> All right, well, I think that's a decision I'll make in a, when, I, when I go and sample this. But now, let's just try this. Something feels like it's missing rhythmically. Change the octave for the second time. I think I was doing something with the, uh, yeah. It's too low. I can deal with F sharp on the 32 inch. I wonder if no performers, uh, percussion or timpani sound is sampled from a real timpani and if so what the how they make decisions about which drum plays which note since that's a variable in real life but yeah let's keep this going let's try this that might be what we need I'm gonna try a crazy idea. I'm sure it's not gonna work, but just for the heck of it. Let's try bringing up the dynamic levels once. So you just gotta try things. You never know. Don't assume it's not gonna work. Yeah, and I think we can bring, if we bring the bass drum down dynamically, I think that'll help. So what are they at? They're at mezzo piano. So I'll bring bass drum down to piano. And, uh, We'll try that. This is crazy. Oof, I really like 
that. I'm gonna bring this up to mezzo forte and, p and piano. This might be too much. I might need to save it for later. So check this out. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know it looks crazy on notation, but it's not it's very easy to perform. Uh, okay. And then dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, boom. And then yeah, I think that'll 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 set up a set up a stoppage. This could be really nice. It might be really nice. Okay. So this should be a mess of four. Oopsies. Whoops. Now this is getting buried. Oh, I really like that. I didn't think I was going to, but I like that. I like that a lot. It gives it this feeling of like something's gonna happen. Yeah. And again, this will sound better with samples because the, the timpani has a bit of a, a lack of round robin um, in No Performer. So I think it'll sound better. But, uh, oh, come on. I really shouldn't. I, what I should do is I should just do this and then I should just copy and paste it. Whoa. No, that should be right. Yeah, it's just not spacing it. Okay, sorry. Confusing me. Sibelius being silly. And then here. Serious deja vu. For whatever reason. Getting so nitpicky here, but I feel like <laughs> I'm sorry. Forgive me, but it's all in the detail. I'm just gonna try it just for a couple measures and see if I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
that's absolutely it. Okay, I think I'm pretty satisfied with where this is currently. So, finally, um, uh, we will be moving on to a new section. So now the question is, what do we want? So I'm going to go listen back in context again. Close my eye. I'm getting the sense that this is too loud. It's just too much, too much. So I know what I want, I know what I want, I know what I want, I know what I want. See, when you go listen in context, there are things. I, th I think I want the uh, MF to be subido, suddenly. And uh, I don't want this to conflict. I might have the soon self out. I just I like that line. Dum 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 bum bum. Dun 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 dun. I I kind of want that to get brought up. I'll do a little octave thing there. Those things are fine as long as they're the same, same pitch. And that that was a little high for the contrabass anyway. Oh yeah, the original thing that I was gonna do is is uh, is adjust these two things. one other thing I think that's okay
like that. And, and I don't, I actually, after this, don't think I want to dro drop out this. I'm going to try this. Something really dramatic is happening. Ooh, I don't know. All right, I feel like I need to go to go for a walk and uh, think about this. So we'll call it short for this episode, and. Uh, I will see you in the next episode, and uh, hopefully I'll have some idea of what I want to do. Until next time.